Yo, what's up guys, Newbie here, and today what I'm going to be showing you guys is how to edit heads quickly, such as recolor, and um, we're going to show you guys how to animate things, like blink or like some flame, I don't know, but we're going to do blink for this tutorial. So anyways, what we're going to do is, we're going to go to this application that I like, it's called GIMP, and if you're on the phone, I'm pretty sure there's editing apps for this, but I like to use the PC since I have one at my hands you know I can use it so you're gonna download directly and once you got that you don't want to go there uh, you'll get this you'll install it and this is what you'll get so let's say we just want a random GFX let's say we want a head that we're gonna get on growl male I'm not a girl and uh, let's just choose something like this no purple let's go with purple you don't want to hit you can just hit save as, but whatever. Save as, name it green, because I really want green. Okay, so we're gonna go here, and we can just drag it in. Let's go back to the pool. Let's go to 800. So you see the head here, and uh, without. I've tried this before on another head, but it was too wonky, so I'm restarting. But uh, basically, you're gonna have this, and this is gonna be at set like to 15, I think. But you don't want to hit it to zero because if you have it to 15, how it is before, you're gonna see this. It's gonna shade the whole hair, so if you like color in, it's gonna look nasty, and you don't want that. So whoa. <laughs> just cut it all so you're gonna want to set the threshold to zero and Once I click on the edge it should only give me the colors with the color code of that edge if you see what I mean so The edge of this hair is gonna be fully green I want this head to be green because green is my favorite color So I'm gonna do that I'm gonna go a bit lighter I think that's the same no that's a bit lighter okay like I said I've already tried this before but like my recording was fucked up because the head was weird so we're gonna go here that's a bit lighter yep and just to show you how to like get it lighter you're gonna want to move this a bit up and we're almost done Lighter. You can even use the same colors if you want. Just depends how you like it. You don't want to be holding shift with each click. I forgot to mention because ooh, what are why are these here? Are these different colors on each one? I think they are. Okay, so we're gonna fill that in real quick. Let's see. Where is our edge color? There you go. Fill it in. So you're just going to want to check your head too. It, sometimes it doesn't work perfectly, but it's easier than going ahead and doing it manu manual, right? So I'm going to make it the same color because it really doesn't matter, I don't think. Hold shift with each click so it can go into each color. You see here. Just see on each parts of the head. It's not looking too shabby. So fill that in. And it looks fine, right? You just want to make sure that you got everything right here. We're missing some pieces if you see that. Right here too. Well, you just gonna want to check your head. But anyways, you see? It looks nice. It looks nice. It doesn't look bad. We can change the shade to like this outer one, but that's up to you. I'm just doing this as a show, so I'm not trying to really perfect it, but it looks nice, doesn't it? Kind of looks like my head, to be honest. But anyways, we're going to do the blink now. So use this. Use the bucket tool. Click. You know, click the shades. And you should be good. Set the threshold to zero. And uh, hold shift every time you use the bucket. Alright, now we're going to unselect. And we're gonna do the blink now. We're gonna grab our pencil tool. 
and we're gonna set this to size zero or one, one, so it turns into one pixel. So what I like to do is duplicate my things, makes life simple, and we're gonna want to start with an eyelid. So drag the black, or you can eye drop your eye. I like to eye drop the eye because sometimes true black isn't a thing you want. So the reason why I do this is because if you keep going with the black just how it is, you're not going to have a complete eyelid, if that makes sense. You'll see at the end what I mean, but this is the right way. So that's one layer, and you're just going to keep duplicating layers, and this at the end is going to create an uh, animation. So you'll see right now how if I, view, if I click this view button off, the square goes away. So that's, this is the base of the head. This is how it's always going to look. And then when the blink happens, it's going to go to that. And then this next one that I'm about to create. So what we're going to do is, we're going gra to grab a shade here. Let's say this. We're just going to use that. We're going to do this. So do that. We're going to color in to make it an eyelid. So eyedropper, we can use this black and just do that. Make the line. And there you go. So now you'll see that if we start here, it'll start to shut the eye. You don't you, you can make it look a bit better. I'm just going to use that same shade cuz why not? So we're going to duplicate, and we're going to do this, we can leave a box there so we can eye drop it. I think actually we can switch these colors and eye drop it, and we can just be switching between it, so switch, create the line. This looks a bit weird right now, but you'll see how it looks at the end. And you're not going to be fully zoomed in, so they can't really like say, oh, this is terrible. But it looks good right now. So once again, base. And that's how the blink looks so far. So we're going to duplicate. And we're going to do, we're going to repeat the process. Add skin, which is for the eyelid. And... There you go. I'm going to add the eyelid itself. It doesn't look that bad, to be fair. Um, did I mess up here? What happened here? Hold on. Let's see what happened. Oh, it's because we used the same shade, so it looks kind of funky. What we can do is... If stuff like this occurs, you can simply click here, just add shade to it. Oh no, I was clicking on the wrong one. Okay. Okay, that looks fine, right? Alright, so base. Looks a bit fine. We can tweak it a bit, but that's the simple blink. So this is going to be the next step that we want after the full eye shuts. So we're going to duplicate this and we're going to make our life simple. Just drag it to the top and we're going to do that for each one. We need this one next. We're going to duplicate that. Duplicate this. And that's all you need. That's basically the whole head blink you can see it's just gonna reopen and the reason why this one stuck with the uh, four boxes is because we're gonna end up with this one here at the bottom so we're gonna be ending up here after the final one hits if that makes sense so right now you're like oh well these are layers this is like six images seven I don't know how many images like eight but now we're just gonna go 
here. We're gonna hit export as, and we're gonna change this to GIF. And we're gonna do green too. Why not? Export. Don't add a GIF comment. That's stupid. As an animation, this is important. You're gonna have to make it as animation. And for this, my secret blink, I like to keep it at 130. So you're gonna want to do this. Loop forever. This. This is all good. So now you see, we're gonna reopen it. Screen two. It open on my other screen, I think. No, where did it open? Oh, there it is. So you're gonna see here now, it has milliseconds. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go here, edit layer attributes, and my other secret for the base is 5,500. So now if we go to filters, animation, and playback, you're gonna see how our head's gonna look. So you can't really see it from there, but this will have to do. And then I'll probably zoom it in in the in the Sony Vegas, but for right now we're gonna hit play. The eyes aren't gonna move because that's the base. We set it to 5.5 seconds before it blinks, and there you go. There's the blink. It doesn't look too bad. Um, so let's exit that, and that's basically it. You're gonna wanna also I forgot to mention you're gonna want to highlight the background. Because you do not, they do not accept white backgrounds for, uh, you need transparency. So you're gonna hit Control X. And if Control X doesn't work, um, I think you can just duplicate it, delete the other one, and then hit Control X, and it should work. So do the same for all the other frames, because they don't allow backgrounds on them, even though if you, uh, choose to delete the background color but there you go head looks nice so we're gonna export it again or you can just overwrite you know overwrite so now back to the internet so we're gonna go here you're gonna go you're gonna want to go to era upload I think you can just type that in and yeah it's right here so we're gonna do device let's say your email let's do player email at yahoo.com and do that find file green 2 open and it's gonna say gif make sure it says gif gang logo what okay <laughs> I don't know you're not gonna want to set transparency you already put it yourself and you're just gonna upload but if you don't know your device ID it could be found in the feedback menu so it's not that hard so that's the whole tutorial, it blinks, and uh, yeah, so if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, please make sure to leave a like, and uh, hopefully you found this semi-useful, um, I don't know, my screen recorder is kind of broken, so I can't really make funny content at the moment until it's fixed, or I'm just going to be forced to use the PC version of Crowd, but I don't really like it to be honest, but Anyways, I hope you guys found this useful again, and uh, if you want some more tutorials, then leave down in the, in the comments uh, on what you want to see. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time, and uh, peace out. Hey guys, I forgot to mention one thing. Um, if you go to the original head that you started with, you're going to want to make sure that it's... Uh, on RGB otherwise it's not going to be working and your color is not going to be going through it's only going to accept certain colors like black or white I'm not sure how indexed works but some issues occur because of that this is used for uh, color changeable stuff but anyways I also wanted to give a shout out to Calyx um, she's doing heads and they're pretty fine not pretty fine they're great they're amazing what am I saying but uh, nah shout outs to her she's doing heads for, uh, for Tro and I'm sure she won't charge you too much if you're too lazy to do this or if uh, you just don't have access to editing tools she will gladly do it for you just PM her 
you can find her in my gang she's the leader or you can click on me and she'll be married to me and that's her so uh if you want some badass animations or badass heads hit her up and uh she'll make them for you anyways peace out guys and i'll see you guys next time